So for testing our replication task, we do need a new ESXi. Here in our lab, I added another ESXi. So we assume that this ESXi is in our disaster site. And of course, we'll add it to our vCenter server. In today's lesson, I'm going to tell you how you can install this ESXi in our disaster site. Actually, the process of installation is like ESXi and ESXi2 is very easy. But as a new ESXi in our VMware vSphere, I want to tell you how we can add this ESXi to our vCenter server. And we're going to talk about our record DNS and, of course, hostess file in Beam Backup server. So let's jump right to our real environment. So as you can see, network configuration here with this IP address. and DNS configuration, we point it to our DNS server, and here is the host name, esxi-dr. And for DNS, we point it to our domain, which is lab.local. Great. And here in our DNS, you can see, we already added esxi-r with this IP address as an A record. This actually helped the vCenter to resolve esxi host name. And here, and in our local host of Beam Backup, here, in this path, and in hostess file, we already added the SXI and the hostess name. Great. And here we can see our ESXi on DR site. So when you add this ESXi to your disaster site, here, don't forget to actually re-scan your vCenter server. It actually to help update Beam Backup with vCenter server. Thanks for watching.